Flee from lusts. April 21st. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. We have no time to lose. We know not how soon our probation may close. Eternity stretches before us. The curtain is about to be lifted. Christ is soon to come. The angels of God are seeking to attract us from ourselves and from earthly things. Let them not labor in vain. When Jesus rises up in the most holy place, lays off his mediatorial robes, and clothes himself with the garments of vengeance, the mandate will go forth, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. A storm is coming, relentless in its fury. Are we prepared to meet it? We need not say, the perils of the last days are soon to come upon us. Already they have come. We need now the sword of the Lord to cut to the very soul and marrow of fleshly lusts, appetites, and passions. Minds that have been given up to lose thought need to change. The thoughts must be centered upon God. Now is the time to put forth earnest effort to overcome the natural tendencies of the carnal, heart. Our efforts, our self-denial, our perseverance, must be proportionate to the infinite value of the object of which we are in pursuit. Only by overcoming as Christ overcame shall we win the crown of life. We must turn away from a thousand topics that invite attention. There are matters that consume time and arouse inquiry, but end in nothing. The highest interests demand the close attention and energy that are too often given to comparatively insignificant things.